This is the all new Bodhi Linux 7.2. The popular ultra lightweight Linux distro has rolled out a new major release packed with enhancements and improvements throughout. A new engine under the hood, refreshing new look, even better performance with some cool new tech. Yeah, Bodhi 7 update packs a major punch. Bodhi Linux has always been a unique Linux distro. It's a distro that crushes benchmarks like nuts. I installed the new Bodhi immediately after its release and I was really amazed. Bodhi Linux 7.0 is faster than before, it's sleeker and it's a better experience than ever before. I mean the experience here, the user interface, butter smooth, the boot time, blink and you'll miss it, the overall performance, it feels like this system has been on a steady diet of performance enhancers. So let's jump right in and have a look at this power pack distribution in the first episode of Distro Focus, our new 10 episode series showcasing the best of some underrated as well as well known Linux distros. Having a good knowledge of Linux commands and being comfortable using the terminal really broadens what you can do with Linux and what kind of experience you are going to get here. So if you are interested in leveling up your Linux game, definitely check out my course Linux Mastery Express which is the fastest way to learn Linux and start using Linux like a pro. I'll teach you a set of commands that will give you the confidence to use Linux without even a graphical user interface. Then we'll dive deep and learn how to use the vEditor and master shell scripting with real life examples. After teaching more than 100 students in person, I've curated this course with the top things that will develop your Linux skills the fastest. So if you're feeling like your Linux game is stuck in the same spot for too long and you're ready to take your Linux skills to the next level quickly, check out the link in the description below and get your Linux Mastery Express. We are running a massive 45% discount right now, so make use of it. Bodhi Linux is an ultra lightweight Linux distribution designed to deliver a fast and elegant computing experience all while utilizing very minimal system resources. Bodhi performs on an even lower resource usage than something like Lubuntu or MX Linux. Bodhi Linux 7.0 is based on Ubuntu 22.04 LTS and features its own Moksha desktop environment. Now Moksha is a very powerful piece of software and is very minimal. Over the years, Bodhi has gained a reputation for its exceptional speed and efficiency. It particularly performs great on older and low powered hardware and this is kinda Bodhi's speciality. But hyper performance is not the only thing that Bodhi is known for, there's a lot more here. Bodhi Linux gives us its homegrown Moksha desktop environment. Moksha is the crown jewel of Bodhi Linux. Moksha is a fork of Enlightenment E17 desktop and has a non-flat design language. This might give Moksha a dated look, but that's mainly because everybody is used to flat designs now. Anything other than that feels oldish. But rest assured knowing that Moksha is modern and actively maintained. Alright, we get a bottom panel here which houses the menu, some favorites, running applications and some quick controls. The menu here is exhaustive. It's very fast but most of your applications will be 2 levels deep. Bodhi Linux has another cool way of opening applications. You can click on the desktop to open the same menu which has all the applications, places and power controls. And you can right click on the desktop to open a list of favorite applications. Once you set the favorites here, you can open applications very quickly. Bodhi Linux doesn't provide a context menu on the desktop for right clicking. Rather, these favorites pop up. First time I used this, I thought that this was a very interesting point in design. Moksha desktop has workspaces and they are displayed here on the right side of the desktop itself. You can open multiple applications and then organize them. You can also toggle between workspaces using Ctrl Alt plus arrow keys. Bodhi's Moksha desktop is a very unique experience. It comes with all the functionality of a full-fledged desktop. All the features are there but it doesn't bring any bells and whistles. There are minimal desktop effects and animations. This is a lightweight desktop so we understand. Bodhi Linux with this major update also brings in a new theme here. Moksha Green is the new theme and it makes the desktop feel more trendy. The dark shades have been enhanced and touched up here to take Bodhi's look to the new generation. Comparatively, the old version of Bodhi looked dusty and woody. Moksha Green also brings a new and refreshed set of icons. The icon theme too is non-flat by design, but this time around there are many retouches and improvements in the icon pack and everything looks very good here. Bodhi 7 also brings a new Plymouth and Slick Gritter theme. This is for when your computer is starting up and logging off. These two new improvements come with this new version. This version of Moksha desktop has many improvements throughout the system. It has been rebased for this version and has lost a lot of dependency baggage and also gains many new features like window snapping. Overall, Bodhi 7's user interface is neat. It's not the best looking there is but it is functional. To build an ultra performance oriented system, sacrifices will have to be made and the looks department will always be the one losing the most. But Bodhi tries to hit a sweet middle ground between looks and performance. 
it puts up the best possible user interface in that resource usage range, but it more than makes up for it in the performance department. Bodhi Linux is an ultra-performance Linux distro. It's designed to be very efficient with your system resources. To give you an idea of how it runs, on idle, Bodhi 7 uses just north of 300 MBs of RAM. Yeah, that's right, not even half a gig. And even the CPU cycles used are very low. Bodhi tries to be very careful with resources it's using for the operating system itself. By being efficient there, more RAM, more CPU cycles are kept free for user applications. This results in fantastic responsiveness and performance when you interact with your computer. Bodhi performs particularly amazing on older and low power devices. On new and even decent hardware, Bodhi will be blazing fast. But on old devices, you get to see what Bodhi can really do. On devices which are even more than a decade old, you can run Bodhi and do things like browsing, doing some office work and regular stuff pretty smoothly. You'll not even feel the age of the computer with Bodhi. Now I'm not just talking about computers on which Windows struggles, but even devices on which Windows plain refuses to run because of the specs. This makes Bodhi a fantastic resuscitator of old devices. Your old computers that are collecting dust can now get a new life with Bodhi. Really, I'm impressed with how responsive everything is with Bodhi Linux. Bodhi 7 also introduces a new memory trimming feature. This is again very useful for people with older devices. With this new memory trimming, Bodhi scans the system memory at pre-scheduled intervals and checks if memory can be freed up for other applications. It then automatically deallocates less priority memory blocks, freeing up more for applications. This lets computers with very low amounts of RAM multitask more efficiently. Bodhi has that reputation of being an ultra lean system and its developers are taking actions to ensure its legacy continues. And how does Bodhi perform on relatively new hardware? It runs great, but more powerful the hardware, the less advantageous Bodhi becomes because you can run anything you want smoothly. But on new hardware too, Bodhi will use very low amount of resources and you'll get that speedy performance. And if you have a laptop and you want to maximize the battery life, Bodhi might be just the thing for you. On idle, Bodhi uses very less CPU cycles and the entire thing is running on a very low amount of power. So you can expect very good battery life with Bodhi. All in all, Bodhi is a performance powerhouse. This is a lean system that ensures that you get some work done and provides a great responsiveness. Bodhi 7 scores top points in the performance section. The all new Bodhi Linux 7 is based on Ubuntu 22.04 LTS. So it gets the obvious Ubuntu benefits like a great software availability, rock solid stability and a lot more. We are particularly interested in the stability part. Bodhi is a very stable operating system with updates spaced well apart to give ample time for testing. This means everything comes out nicely baked and without any headaches. Throughout the Bodhi Linux production pipeline, there is a lot of testing and this results in a stable and dependable final product. All the packages that you install here are taken from Ubuntu repositories. There too, extensive testing is carried out to ensure that all the packages play nicely with their dependencies and run as expected. Bodhi Linux being based on Ubuntu leads to Bodhi being very polished and premium. Now Ubuntu itself is based on Debian. This stable foundation trickles down to Bodhi Linux. This time around, Bodhi Linux has released three versions, each with a different kernel which finally result in slightly different kinds of experience for its users. Firstly, there is the regular version that gives you everything. This is for most people. It comes with the same kernel version as Ubuntu 22.04 and this should be right for most people. Next, Bodhi 7 is available with the Hardware Enablement Kernel or HWV Kernel for short. This version comes with an added set of hardware drivers for a wide range of hardware. Ubuntu 22.04 released more than a year ago, so the default kernel will not support newer hardware and hardware that came out after its release. To overcome this, we can use the HWV Kernel. It comes with all the latest drivers for new hardware as well. With Hardware Enablement Kernel, you can use a stable platform with a cutting edge kernel. This kernel will be a rolling kernel and will be continually updated to accommodate new hardware. Then, Bodhi 7 is also available in a new variant called S76 version. S76 obviously stands for System76. This version of Bodhi is optimized for computers created by System76 and it will be specifically tailored to run butter smooth on their hardware. Many components and settings are optimized for System76 hardware. All these three ISOs are available on the official website for download. For most people, the regular Bodhi Linux should be right. You can go with the other two ISOs if you know what you're doing. Moving on to the usability, Bodhi has a simple user interface that's very easy to use and get around the system. Bodhi has a simple settings app that gives you deep control over your system. I found it very easy to use Bodhi. 
It is quite different from other traditional desktops, but you get familiar with it quickly. Overall, Bodhi Linux 7 is a fantastic system for students, home usage, and computers that are less beefy. If performance is your priority, then Bodhi can deliver a performance packed computing platform that's also reliable. Bodhi Linux comes preloaded with a very small set of software. The philosophy here is give the users a full fledged platform and let them decide what all software they want to install. This philosophy will Linux users love it long time. Most of us actually prefer it this way. We get the Chromium browser here and that's that. There are basic system utilities like the file manager and all, but apart from that, there's nothing installed here. Any app that you want, you'll need to manually install. Bodhi Linux gets software from Ubuntu software repositories. This gives you access to more than 70,000 packages from all repositories. You'll be able to find pretty much anything you want here. Ubuntu is the most popular Linux distro and has the best-in-class software availability. Any Linux software ever created will have a Ubuntu package. And Ubuntu software repositories themselves are curated to provide you well-tested, top-quality packages of pretty much anything you could want. Development tools, multimedia software, utilities, games, and a lot more are available here for one-click installation. To browse and install software from Ubuntu repositories on Bodhi, you can open up the Synaptic Package Manager. There's also a Bodhi App Center here, but that's a website and I prefer to use Synaptic. Synaptic is one of the best software managers. It's very powerful and gives you full control over software management. Here, you can browse more than 70,000 packages and install anything you want. Bodhi Linux doesn't come with either snaps or flat packs pre-installed and that's great from a performance point of view. Since Bodhi is targeted towards lightweight installations, having snaps or flat packs, which can be ridiculously slow to start up, can defeat the whole purpose. So they have gone with .deb packages. Now these can be really good for performance as these packages tend to be lighter and generally share dependencies and stuff, so they are lighter. But if you want, you can go ahead and install flat packs or snaps manually. Overall, software availability is just great on Bodhi. Thanks to its Ubuntu lineage, pretty much anything you want can be installed here quickly using the Synaptic Package Manager. Lightweight Linux distros are very interesting from a gaming point of view. While Bodhi is a performance-oriented Linux distro and there are gaming performance benefits with Bodhi, these improvements aren't that big. I mean, your hardware becomes the primary factor to consider when we are talking about gaming performance. But there are performance benefits nonetheless and gamers will squeeze every ounce of it given the chance. So I jumped in and started shooting and blasting on Bodhi. Bodhi is Ubuntu based, so you can install many games directly from the Ubuntu software repositories. Amazing titles like Alien Arena, Super Tux Kart, Zero AD and many more are easily installable using the Synaptic store here. There are thousands of more games and many of these are hours of fun. And if you want to play Windows games, I recommend Steam and Bottles. Steam with its Proton feature lets you play thousands of Windows exclusive games like The Witcher 3, GTA 5, Cyberpunk 2077 and many more directly on Linux without any configuration hassle. These games install and run like they are Linux native. So Steam is a must have for Linux gamers today. And if you have your own game files or disks, check out Bottles. Bottles lets you install Windows games with optimized prefixes of Wine, Proton and Soda and game like you are gaming on Windows. So Bottles, check it out. Overall, gaming on Bodhi is pretty simple thanks to Steam and Bodhi's Ubuntu lineage. And the gaming performance too is very good here. Installing and getting started with Bodhi is very easy. First, head over to the website and download the ISO file. Now, you get three ISOs here. S76 is for computers created by System76. HWE is Bodhi with hardware enablement kernel. This one should be used if you have a computer with the latest processors or hardware. The standard ISO is for 90% of people. If you don't understand all these, just download the standard ISO. Flash the downloaded ISO onto a USB stick and live boot into it. Bodhi Linux has Ubuntu's Ubiquiti installer here which is very straightforward. All the steps like choosing your language, partitioning, everything is represented in a very simple way here. The whole process is very beginner friendly and you can install Bodhi in 15 minutes. Once installed, you can reboot into your new Bodhi installation and start using it. It's that simple. Bodhi is a very special Linux distro. It provides a great computing system for hardware which are fading away in time. Bodhi really revives these computers and breathes a new life into them. Sure, these revived computers won't replace anything new generation, but they do become usable for general usage. That's something, isn't it? And the new Bodhi 7 is packed with updates and refreshes throughout. I really enjoyed playing around with it. Even on decent hardware, Bodhi can be a performance beast. And that's the selling point of Bodhi. Hyper performance. Yeah, maybe at the cost of good enough looks, but that's a trade-off you have to make with any performance-driven Linux distro. 
One thing that I really liked about Bodhi is the minimalism. Really, it's not feature packed with too many bells and whistles and that in itself can be a great feature for many people. You're getting a lean platform that lets you get some work done and maybe a little play. And the operating system stays out of your way. Yeah, Bodhi is marriage material once you get a hang of it. Definitely give it a try. You can download Bodhi 7 using the link given in the description below. Alright, if you enjoyed our deep dive with Bodhi in the first episode of Distro Focus, our new series featuring the best and some underrated Linux distros, definitely consider subscribing to the channel for more and leave me a big thumbs up. And if you're interested in leveling up your Linux skills, the link to my course Linux Mastery Express is given in the description below. It's designed to teach you Linux and take you from zero to hero within the shortest amount of time possible. You'll be using Linux like a pro within a matter of hours, so definitely check that out. Alright, if you had fun with Bodhi 7 in this video, you'll absolutely love this fantastic distro called NixOS. It's pretty amazing, so don't miss that. Alright, this is the next text, signing out.